Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a product review and the products that I'm going to be reviewing today are gonna to be by the Osmosis Skincare Line. I've had so many of you ask me if I've tried any of the products from the Osmosis Skincare Line, and I had not. And a lot of you were telling me how much you loved it. So I started to do some research on some of the products and um, I kind of narrowed it down to a few. And these are the ones that I chose. This one is the Osmosis Renew Level 4 Vitamin A Serum. I am really, really passionate about vitamin A. I think that everybody should try to figure out a way to work vitamin A into their skincare regimen. And I know that some people are sensitive to retinols and retin-A's and stuff like that. So I think this is where this is gonna probably come in handy for a lot of you. Um, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then I've got this Osmosis Clear Plus Activating Mist. They're supposed to be used together. They don't have to be used together. I have read that you can use this with just water. I've tried it with just water and with just actually aloe vera, ju aloe vera juice. And I just didn't feel like it worked the same way as it does with this. There's something about the synergy between these two and I don't know if it helps to um, really get it into the deeper layers of the skin, but I just feel like my skin benefits more when I use these together than when I try to use it with just water or just you know something else. Now before I begin this video, I do wanna say that these products were sent to me free of charge. It was literally almost serendipitous. I'm not even joking because I'd already been researching some of these products. When I said serendipitous, what I meant was, um, as I was researching these, I got a, an email through Instagram from Brianna Stanko, and she has a channel here on YouTube. I'm sure most of you have heard of her. If you haven't, then you really need to go check out her channel. She does a lot of product reviews, and like me, she bases all of her product skincare choices on ingredients, and that's what I do. I base all of my product choices on ingredients. So I really trust her judgment. However, I think that she might have a little bit more flexible of a budget than I do. So, and she also owns a um, online skincare store. It's called premierlook.com. That is where I found these. She sent me an email. Basically it said, hey, you know, um, if you ever want to try something from my Premier Look website, feel free to pick out, you know, a product and I'll send it to you and I'll even give your subscribers a subscription code. So of course, like within five minutes, I responded going, I really wanted to try the osmosis. I feel like because I feel like they're budget friendly, they're not cheap, but of course I think whenever you're going medical grade, you should all always expect to pay just a little bit more. They're not cheap, but they're still reasonable. And so that's why I like them. Now this product uses a high concentration of vitamin A, but it's retinaldehyde, not retinol and not Retin-A, it's something that's called retinaldehyde. And I'm gonna explain the differences between retinaldehyde and retinol and Retin-A so that you have a really good understanding of it. I think I've got it to where I can explain it really, really simply, 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 something like that. But anyways, and then, um, so this actually retails for about $88 uh, and you get one fluid ounce, so it's quite a bit. And then we've got over here this osmosis Clear Plus Activating Hydrating Mist. And like I said, this really helps to um, kind of spread this around really even, evenly, and I feel like it really helps um, with the penetration of this product. Um, together, oh, they, they work so beautifully. But um, this only retails for about $32, and you get 3.4 fluid ounces. I feel like this is gonna last me forever. You can use it alone, but uh, I, I don't. I don't typically use hydrating mists. I have in the past tried to do that, and usually I'll just use them kind of as a serum and then top them off with everything else, but I use these together. Now, um, I selected these myself, I do wanna mention. So it wasn't like, yes, I'd love to try something, and then she just randomly sent me something. I had already, like I said, had my eye on a few products, so I was really excited to get that email. And these are the ones I chose. I also chose an eye cream, but that's gonna be for an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that one, because um, like I said, I base everything on the ingredients. So every review that you see from me ever on my channel is going to always be based on the ingredients first because I feel like as we get older, we really need to concentrate more on the ingredients that we're putting on our skin rather than the claims, you know, that are made by the company who's putting out the product. Uh, I don't even, I don't even read the, the claims actually. Claims are like meaningless to me because I've read so many claims where they tell you it's gonna do something and then I look at the ingredient list and I'm thinking, 
on what planet, because there's not one single ingredient in this list that could possibly do what you're claiming you know, it to do. So I base all my reviews on ingredients. So I understand a lot of times when you hear that somebody was sent something free of charge, auto automatically your kind of antennas go up and you're like, can I trust you? <laughs> you know, are you just gonna tell me that it's great because it was sent to you for free? But like I said, I'm not gonna conduct this review any different than I have any of my other reviews in the past. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. First, I'm just gonna tell you a lot about the ingredients in the Osmosis Renew Level 4 Vitamin A Serum, a lot of the standout ingredients, and then, um, and then I'm gonna tell you about the ingredients in this too, and then I'm gonna tell you about all the benefits of retinaldehyde because that's kind of a new ingredient out there, and I've been researching and researching and researching about that ingredient, and it seems really, really promising, so um, and there's a lot of interesting information out there. I think you're gonna love it too, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so the first product that I'm gonna talk about is the Renew Level 4 Vitamin A Serum. And this is a level four. I know that there's two levels before this. I know there's a level two and a level three. I don't know why they just like left out level one altogether. Or maybe I just overlooked it. I didn't see one. But I wanted to go straight up to the level four because I already use a 0.1% Retin-A. And it says that if you have resilient skin and if you have mature skin, then this is a good choice for you. I do have really resilient skin. I don't have any type of irritation or inflammation or sensitivities typically. So I wanted to go ahead and start with the highest level that there was. Um, now I'm going to tell you about the retinaldehyde at the end um, of this video, the retinaldehyde, you know, and I'm going to do a little comparison with Retin-A and Retinol just so you can get a better understanding of it. But um, the reason that I chose this product is because of this fantastic ingredient list. The second ingredient on this, on this list is niacinamide. And that means it's in high concentrations. And niacinamides are really, really good for helping to, helping in the production of ceramides. And ceramides really help to just kind of plump and smooth and soften the skin and really help prevent like any type of water loss from your skin. So it keeps the skin really moist and hydrated. And that's what you want, especially if you have mature skin, like, you know, anybody who's 40 and above, you can definitely tell that your, your skin isn't retaining as much moisture as it once did. You could probably notice it most right around the under eye area. You know, you get that creppiness and stuff like that. So niacinamides are really, really good for helping to kind of plump the skin. Niacinamides are also really good for inhibiting melanin production, which causes the dark spots and stuff like that. So whenever you have niacinamides in high concentration, um, it, there's just a lot of benefits to the outermost layer of your skin and the way that it appears. The ingredient right after niacinamide is called, well, I'm not even gonna say what it's called. It's a phospholipid. It's, it's a very long word. It's very hard to pronounce. Um, and I don't wanna sound like an idiot trying to do it. So it's a phospholipid and basically it's a fatty acid and it just helps to kind of replenish the skin and it's considered a natural moisturizing factor. So it's something that's naturally found in our skin. So our body just um, really knows what to do with it. And so, like I said, once again, it just helps to kind of restore and replenish the skin. So another ingredient that I just found, and these are all like at the very top of the list, which means they're in high concentrations. Another ingredient, that was just kind of a standout for me is something called chlorella vulgaris extract <laughs> that sounds a little bit vulgar doesn't it but anyways all that is is an algae and it's really supposed to help in the production of collagen but it's also supposed to help prevent um, the breakdown of the skin's collagen and elastin so um, that's a good ingredient to find in your products. Right after that is actually a peptide and it's called the Tetrapeptide 3. And that is another ingredient that is really supposed to help with the synth synthesis of collagen. So it's just really supposed to help, you know, keep your skin functioning the way that it's supposed to. As we get older, collagen levels naturally start to deplete. So you always want to find something, and peptides are really good about this, replenishing those collagen levels and you know the synthesis of collagen. This one is actually supposed to be considered one of the most powerful peptides that there are and it's just really supposed to help you know kind of smooth and soften the skin. Now the next ingredient in this product is called epilobium and this is actually a stem extract and this ingredient is actually also found in the eye cream that I'm going to be reviewing next week. As a matter of fact so many of the same ingredients that are in this product are also in the eye cream aside from the vitamin A. That, that ingredient is not in the eye cream. But this ingredient is really, really important because this is the ingredient that really helps with any type of 
irritation or any type of inflammation. It's supposed to really help against any type of back acne bacteria, but it also acts as a very natural analgesic. So it almost mimics kind of um, hydrocortisone, which really helps to calm the skin and help with like any type of discomfort. So that ingredient is really important. And and I love everything that I read about that ingredient. I actually didn't even know it was out there, but um, I'm sure that that's a really big reason why you can use this retinaldehyde in high concentration without getting any of the irritation that you would from, you know, maybe a Retin-A or something like that. So um, interesting, interesting stuff about that ingredient. And then of course the next one is the retinaldehyde, and I'm going to stop there with with the ingredient list because those are all at the very top. So um, so that's where I'm going to stop on that. As you can tell. These ingredients are just really, just uses all the superior ingredients as far as, you know, the skincare world is concerned. And so, really, really good product. Now this product over here, this is a hydrating mist, so it has a lot of hydrating ingredients. Um, there's a lot of natural oils, a lot of natural extracts. Of course, it's got sodium hyaluronate, which this one does too, which is just a sodium form of hyaluronic acid, so it's really supposed to draw moisture to it and just keep the skin plump and stuff like that. It also includes green tea, just to help refresh and brighten the skin, but it also includes the tetrapeptide 5, another peptide. So together, these work so, like I said, synergetically. I just love them on my skin. Okay, so let's talk about the vitamin A component of this product. This is, like I said, the Renew Level 4 vitamin A serum, and this is a level 4. It's the highest concentration that you can get of the retinaldehyde. Um, so it's not retinol, which most of you have heard of, and it's not retin-A, which is, which is just another word for retinoic acid, but this is actually called retinaldehyde, and this is a concentration of 0.15%. What I found really interesting about that is that most of the research and data and clinical studies that I read about, they all used somewhere between a 0.05% and a 0.1%. So this is even greater than any of the research that I read out there, which, you know, of course I love. Now, this is a level four. There are two other levels before. I don't know why there's not three, but there are just, I think it's a level two and a level three. So you should definitely, especially if you have sensitive skin and you're one of those people that really want to try to work vitamin A into your skincare, you should definitely start with one of the lower concentrations. Now, um, one thing that I read, let me see if I can try to explain this to you as best I can. Um, the, the best way to explain it is that most of you have heard of retinol, most of you have heard of retin-A. Retinaldehyde is right there in the middle. From all the information out there that I read and researched, it seems to me that it's definitely stronger than retinol. Um, it's not as strong as retin-A, but it doesn't have any of the inflammation and irritation that both of those have. It's this whole kind of conversion in the way that your body and your skin kind of absorbs it. Retin-A is absorbed right into your skin. Retinaldehyde, however, has to be broken down. Once it hits the skin, there's an enzyme that kind of breaks it down and then turns it into retinoic acid, which is retin-A. Now the difference between retin-A and retinaldehyde is that retin-A cannot be stored on your skin. So all of it is absorbed, and so sometimes if the strength is too high, you're going to get some irritation and inflammation and peeling and stuff like that. Now, with the retinaldehyde, since it can be stored in your skin, um, it only uses what is necessary, and then it'll store the rest in your skin to be used later, which I found to be very, very interesting, but that is the same, that is the research and the, and the data that I just kept coming across. There are even studies where they have um, taken a lot of people with rosacea and um, introduced them to the retinaldehyde, and there was a very, very small percentage that still had some sort of Im inflammation or irritation, but the majority had no inflammation or irritation whatsoever. I'm going to tell you, I've been using this for over a month now, and it's a level four. It's the highest concentration that you can get. I have not had a single bit of inflammation or irritation, not at all whatsoever. Now, um, and I, I love that, but then there's also part of me that keeps thinking, God, you know, is it really working? Because I'm so used to Retin-A, and I'm so used to getting that peel from Retin-A. I don't know, you know, when you hear when I hear about people saying, I get all this irritation and inflammation from Retin-A, I'm always thinking, what does that look like? Because is that the peeling part? Because to I actually get a lot of gratification from the peeling part. I don't get inflammation. I don't get like a stinging or an uncomfortable sensation or blotchy redness or anything like that. 
from my 0.1% Retin-A, I just get a peel a few days later. You know, I get the tightness and then, and then a peel and stuff like that. So um, this is not going to replace my Retin-A, but I'm definitely gonna use this on the days that I'm not using my Retin-A. Because I use my Retin-A, most of you know, unless you're new to my channel, I only use my 0.1%, the highest concentration of Retin-A, once a week. And I love that peel. I really look forward to that peel. I love how my skin looks um, the days following that peel. Um, and then for the rest of the week, I just kind of use a lot of ingredients to kind of um, restore and replenish my lipid barrier. But those are all in this product, and it also includes retinol to hide, which is supposed to be similar as far as effectiveness to Retin A without any of the irritation. So this is definitely going to be used the second half of every week or the other half of every week um, that I'm not using my Retin A. I absolutely love the way that my skin looks when I use this product. Now I've been using it for a little bit over a month now and I've, I've not used my Retin-A at all. I've only been using, whenever I'm trying out products, I will only use those products and that is it. So although this is a serum, um, I have not layered anything on top of it. I don't even think it's necessary. And I take this serum all the way up to my eyes. In the very end of this video, I'm gonna show you just how I apply it, just so you can get a uh, better understanding and why I feel like it works best with the activating mist because this really helps to kind of um, slip, give it a little bit of a slip and help to kind of spread it more evenly on the face. And like I said, I really, I really think that it helps with the penetration as well. So to sum it all up, I think that this is an incredible, incredible product. I think that if you are somebody who suffers from any type of like skin sensitivities, or if you suffer from acne or rosacea, but you want to work vitamin A into your skincare regimen, I think this is definitely something that you should start with. I don't think you should start with a level four. Of course, I think you should go with a two you know, probably the lowest and then work your way up, just like just like any, you know, um, vitamin A products. But, um, but this is a fabulous product. So I'm gonna take you to the bathroom real quick, show you how I apply it, or I might just go clean off my face and just apply it right here so I don't have to move everything. So anyways, um, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna say goodbye and close out this video. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I went ahead and removed all of my foundation. So I'm gonna show you how I apply these. Now, I do wanna mention, first off, that, first off, first of all, I don't know. Anyways, um, that this vitamin A serum has a very strong yellow tint to it. Um, now, I do mix it with this and that kind of lightens it a little bit, but I feel like once you mix them, you really have to be really fast acting about applying them because it is a serum, so it wants to dry really fast, and if it dries too fast, then you have like patches of yellow. Um, if you mix it properly and then apply it evenly, I feel like it gives such a beautiful, like almost a little slight hint of a tan look to you. At least it does for me, but I have natural yellow tones in my skin, so I don't know, I feel like I, I really like the look of it afterwards. Another thing I wanted to mention is that it does have a tacky feel to it after you apply it. That tackiness usually goes away within about 10 minutes or so. I don't feel like it goes away completely, but I feel like it really works so, so well under makeup. Like it literally um, gives my makeup more staying power. That's what I think. I love that tackiness. I love applying the makeup over it. I do use both of these together in the AM and the PM. So I apply it before I put on my makeup in the morning and then I apply it at night before I go to bed. They're the only things that I've been using for the last um, month or a little bit over a month, maybe even a month and a half. I've been using these along with the Osmosis eye cream and that's it. I don't apply anything over the top of it and I just love the way my makeup looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it for you right now. I'm gonna show you how I mix it and then I'll apply it to my skin and I'll show you how you kinda have to kinda act fast, you know? So here you go. Okay, so first I take the hydrating mist and I just put about three pumps in my hand like this. Then I take the Renew and I put, as you can see, it's very, very yellow. It's got a very, very yellow tint to it. I put two squirts of that. It literally looks like the color of egg yolk. And, and then I just kind of mix it around with my finger. I feel like this is the way that it spreads the best and most evenly. So all I do is I take my finger and I mix it around real good. And then I just start applying it to the sections of my face. And like I said, you wanna act really fast because as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, it's yellow. Um, but once it spreads, and you do kind of want to work it into the skin too, you don't just want to set it on your on your skin. That's what I've read, so that's how I'm going to apply it. Um, and then like I said, I do all the sections of my face like that. As you can see, 
as you work it in, the color kind of just um, fades, you know. I do put this right under my eye. I've gotten no irritation whatsoever from putting it under my eye. And I will put the, the eye cream on top. Sometimes, sometimes I will put on my eye cream first and then put this on top, you know, to give it breaks because so far I've had no irritation, but just in case. And then I put it right on my nose. Like I said, I've really, I really feel like it has helped with the pores on my nose. That's where I see the most difference and just the plumpness of my skin. Now, like I said, um, my makeup applies so well over it. It's almost like, I've never used a primer, so I can't, I can't really compare it to a primer because I've never been one to use primers. But from what I've heard and the way that uh, most people describe primers, that's how I feel like it would work. Now, I'm one of these people that want to get it over every single section of my face. I won't just go boop, 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 you know. So then I take whatever's remaining, and I feel like it's drying up a little bit, so I'm going to give it another squirt. And then I really mix it together, and then I just apply it to my neck. And there's always enough for my chest, even. And if I look close and I see that there are some yellow patches, I'll just take that hydrating mist and put a little bit in my hand and then blend those out, you know, so that it's not like this patchy yellowness. But I feel like that's something definitely um, worth mentioning because, you know, it might be a determining factor for you, you know, that, that slight yellow tint to it. Although makeup covers it really, really easily and um, you don't even notice it. And then at night, you know, I really don't care if I have a yellow tint or not. I don't even care if it's patchy at night. Um, my husband, I don't think my husband cares. I think he knows me well enough to know that I would do anything to, I don't know, for, in the name of skincare. I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, also, what else do I need to mention? Like I said, it is tacky. It has a very earthy, earthy fragrance to it. I feel like that is also something worth mentioning because some people are very opposed to using things that have fragrances, and it does have a fragrance. At first, it was a little different to me. I was like, oh, wow, this is kind of a different fragrance. But I've learned to really like it mainly because I love the way that it makes my skin look. So I feel like any, whenever I attach something, um, a scent or anything to something positive, then all of a sudden I love that scent. But like I said, I think that a lot of the, the ingredients, or I know that a lot of the ingredients in these products are very, very natural ingredients and there are a lot of extracts and stuff like that. So it stands to reason that, that the product might have that very earthy smell to it because it has no fragrances added to these products. That's one thing that it says on their website and stuff like that. So that's it. Okay, so that is the end of this video. I hope I was able to spread this serum around evenly, otherwise I'm sitting here with a nice yellow patchy face. But anyways, um, if you're planning on heading over to the Premier Look website, don't forget to use my discount code. It's Jen, J-E-N, 15, and that gets you 15% off, and who doesn't want to save money, you know? So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video to be useful. I hope you found it to be, I don't know, enjoyable. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on the way out, if you're not subscribed already. And I hope you guys are having a fabulous summer. It's almost over. i got about one month left. But I know I am. That's kind of the reason I've been a little bit MIA lately. But anyways, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.